Today I'm going to talk about how my web design client got a 4x return on investment from his website in 60 days. We did this without spending any money on ads or posting any content on social media. Today I'm going to be talking specifically about SEO for high level websites and funnels. This video will be for you if you're new to go high level SEO, if you don't know how to get more clients to your local business organically through Google search. I'm going to share some SEO basics and tricks that I deploy on my clients websites to help them rank higher. I have eight points that I want to cover today and the first one is why should you listen to me? Now the answer is you shouldn't. Today I'm simply going to share how I've helped one of my clients get more jobs for his business through Google organic search with a brand new website. So here's a story about my client. He has a company in the home services niche. He has been running his business for a couple of years without a website and his only online presence was Instagram and Facebook and he really didn't use it that much. All of his clients he had up to that point were word of mouth and referrals. What I did for him is that I built him a professional seven page website on go high level. Shortly after I built him this site, we started to rank higher on Google and right now he does zero paid advertising and he rarely posts on Instagram. And let me just show you the results and what we actually achieved for him. All right, so here I have a map of his area. Let's see what the average ranking on Google Maps for when somebody searches his terms near his area are. So you see that here where he is located, he is the number one guy, very close. He has other regions that he's also number one, number two, number three. Now, of course, there's a few things that we could do to make it better, but something cool that I wanna show you is that recently I was having a conversation with him and I asked him if he got any more quotes or jobs through his website. And he told me that he got at least seven houses from there. So English is not his first language. So I'm guessing that by houses, he means jobs, which is awesome because before he was only getting clients through referrals and word of mouth. Right now, he's not spending any money on ads or spending more time posting on Instagram and Facebook. So these new clients are all coming from the website that I built him. And now he sees his website as an investment, which helps him get more clients without any effort on his end. All right. So the first thing that I want you to take a look at is, and you can do this with me right now, go to your current website and I want you to right click on the page click inspect and then the dev tools will open. There's a bunch of things that you can check here. What I want you to take a look at is click on this right here and then click lighthouse and then you can run a test. So what this is doing is auditing my website and it's going to give me a few scores, which we're going to take a look at in just a sec. So now you see that the test has finished and you see what the scores for my own actual website is. You see that performance is very high. Best practices is at 100% and SEO is also at 100%. What's cool about this tool is that for instance, here in accessibility it's telling me what i need to change or add in order for my scores to be better so this is a tool that i like to use when i'm building websites for myself and for my clients to check that what i'm building not only looks good but is seo optimized and is also friendly and accessible all right so now that i show you this cool tool that you can use to analyze your websites let me show you the next thing that i want to talk about today and it's about content and using the right tags in your copywriting so i've made this website which i'm going to use to explain the things that i did on my client website to make it SEO responsive. So let me go here to the website editor. And here you see that I have a bunch of text. I have headlines, sub headlines and paragraphs. Something that is going to help your SEO is that for headlines that are of hierarchy H1, which is the most important, you want to make sure that you have words and keywords that are important to the traffic that you're trying to capture or go after. So in this case, you see that my H1 says residential cleaning in New York City. So these are words that I want to rank high for. And for my H2s, h3s and so on i want to make sure that i add headlines that support my h1 a mistake that i have seen some go high level websites do is that they add let's say a h1 right here and then they add a bunch of text that would normally be for a paragraph and right now i've made it so that it's small but the problem is that this is a headline so when a search engine is indexing my page because i have a bunch of words on my h1 the search engine is going to get confused and it's not going to know what words i'm trying to rank high for so you want to make sure that you use h1s and h2s for actual keywords and for longer paragraphs, you want to make sure that you add them as a paragraph and not as a headline, which at the end of the day is going to help Google and search engines know what our website is about and what terms we want to rank higher for. All right. So for the next thing that I want to cover is the SEO metadata tab on go high level. So let me go back to the website editor. Now here on the website editor, you'll see this button right here, which if I click right here, a bunch of options will open. Let me just move my screen here. So you see exactly what I'm talking 
talking about. So the title is going to be one of the first things. A mistake that I have seen some websites on Go High Level do is that for the title, they do name of company and then they do like dash home because that's maybe something that they've seen on other sites but the thing is that this is not really talking about the services that we do or what we're actually doing our prospects and search engines don't really care about the name of our company but more about what we do and where we do it so a better title would be professional cleaning services in new york city or residential cleaning experts in new york city and then the name of the company what's cool is that here on go high level we have like a seo helpers so it lets us know if we're over 70 characters which is gonna truncate our text and a few different options as well for the description a mistake that i see some go high level websites do is that they simply copy and paste the same title and description and you see here that i'm getting a warning so instead something better would be to add a supporting description to this field right here so you would do something like this and then you can finish with a call to action so now that i have written this it's telling me that the description is a little bit too long so i can make some changes and make it shorter now for keywords from what i've read is that these used to be more important in the earlier days of seo but it doesn't hurt to add a few the keys to make sure that these keywords are actually relevant and specific to what we're trying to go after and not overdoing them to the point where we actually hurt our seo for the author, if we take a look at this field right here, you'll see that Go High Level is telling us that if we have an author name, it would make it so that the site is more trustworthy. So in this case, I'm just going to put the name of my company. For the social image, it's going to be the preview that a prospect or somebody will see when you send this as a link on social media or what I see on Google as well. So in this case, let me just add one very quickly. And now you see that when I look at my SEO preview, you see that I have an image, I have a title, I have a description, so it looks a lot more legit and if this page was to be indexed by google it would actually show more details on the search results as well once you're done adding all of this right here you can click update seo and save your progress all right the next thing that i want to talk about is creating pages that are area or service specific so let me go back to the website editor and in this case, you see that I have a bunch of different services. What I could do if I wanted to write supporting content and make sure that my website has a higher probability of ranking higher is that I could create different pages for each of the different services. So I could have a move in, move out service page, a deep cleaning service page, a carpet cleaning page, and so on. Now, another thing that I saw when I was building a website for the client that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is that I noticed that one of the highest rated competitors had not only a page for a metro area, but they also have pages for specific cities and even neighborhoods to make sure they were capturing traffic from different search terms so in this case for this company if i wanted to make it so that i can capture traffic not only from residential cleaning new york but also residential cleaning manhattan or even within a specific neighborhood what i could do is duplicate this page and once i have the duplicate page start changing the content and even rewarding some of this right here to prevent that issue of duplicating content which i mentioned earlier and at the same time make sure that my headlines my sub headlines even my paragraph has keywords that are specific to a service or a city that I'm trying to rank or go after. So to illustrate my point, let's pretend that I have finished my website for cleaning services in New York City, but I also want to target specifically Manhattan or a neighborhood. What I could do is add a new page and make it so that this page will have the name of a specific area or subregion. And now once I create that page, I can click use existing and then make it so that I select the home of that page that I've already done, click import, and then actually start changing this right here. So instead of residential cleaning experts in New York City, I could do top cleaning services in Manhattan. And I could also play around with the sub headline right here to make sure it matches my region. Now for the content, you can also make it so that you change some of the things to make it so that it's different from the main homepage. Now for this section, I had professional cleaning services in New York City and I had different like areas or sub regions. What I can do is this is a global header, so I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to duplicate this, delete the global header. And now that I have this section specifically for my Manhattan page, what I can do is write Manhattan right here. And then here I could do areas within Manhattan as well. So this way with my website, I'm being a little bit more specific after the terms that I'm trying to go after. But not only that, but from a prospect's perspective, if they were looking at cleaning services in Manhattan, and they see that there's a page specifically written for them for the areas for the region it's going to make it more likely that they see okay this company is local and choose this cleaning company over a website that says 
top cleaning services in a broader area because these guys are more specific. All right, the next thing that I did for my client is that I help him create and claim a Google business profile. And if you don't know what a Google business profile is, is that let's say in this case, I type go high level and you see that there's this information about the business right here. Go high level has done a very good where they've linked their website directions. They've added a chat so you can literally start a chat from here. They've also added their phone number. They've added like different links. So this is helping so that Google prioritizes their website and helps them rank higher. So that's something that I did for my client as well. Make sure we added his relevant information and build up his Google profile as well. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is how I help him request reviews to make sure that we build it his Google profile and make sure that he also replies. So if you take at go high level websites right here, you see that if I click on reviews right here, every single review that they have, they've responded and Google likes this as well. Also helps a website rank higher. A bonus that is going to help Google understand the structure and layout of your website is to add a sitemap to Google console. So let me show you how you can do this very quickly. All right, so right now I am in the go high level settings and then within settings I am in domains and what we're going to do right now is create a sitemap or a roadmap that is going to help Google and search engines know how our website is structured if we have menus submenus like how the website structure works so what we'll do is here as I mentioned in the domains settings we'll click the three dots right here select XML sitemap and in this case you can select what pages and what websites you want to create a sitemap for and then you'll get a URL so what you can do is click on that URL and then you don't need to worry about any of this right here all that you need to do is copy this url right here go to your google search console click on sitemaps and here where it says enter sitemap you can just paste this right here and click submit i'm not going to do it because i've already done it right here but by adding a sitemap we'll also make sure that google understands your website a little bit better which can also help for your seo all right so there you have it these are the things that i did for my own client to make sure that he started ranking higher on google getting more business without spending any money on ads or creating content hopefully you can take away some of the things that I mentioned today and start ranking higher in your area as well as getting more jobs. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.